Hi folks, I'm Dr. Michael Jones, President of the American Academy of Health, Fitness and Rehab Professionals and the Medical Exercise Training Institute. Now, for the last 20 years, I've dedicated myself to the idea of bridging the gap between healthcare and fitness. We started with a course back in 1994, the Medical Exercise Specialist Workshop and Certification. It was designed specifically to provide fitness professionals with the understanding and knowledge to develop safe and effective post-rehab fitness programs for individuals discharged from physical therapy, chiropractic care, or medical care. Well, 20 years later, the concept has evolved to the point now of what we call medical exercise training. We're seeing now changes in our healthcare system, but also we're seeing increased numbers of individuals that are seniors, but also individuals that have medical conditions, chronic medical conditions specifically. And as a result of that, we've seen this change and it's required an evolution away from post rehab fitness now to medical exercise training. So I wanna take a few minutes to tell you about a publication that we have available, and that publication is titled Medical Exercise Training, The New Modality. Now I know a lot of you out there are fitness professionals, maybe health club owners, maybe even medical professionals, and you're looking at this concept of how we can utilize exercise to better manage medical conditions after physical therapy, chiropractic, or medical care is over. So if you would, let me tell you a little bit about the paper we have available for you, and you can download, where you can download it, and also some highlights of the paper. So if you would, we're gonna talk about in the paper, what is medical exercise training? It's the development of safe and effective exercise programming for individuals with medical conditions. It's based on the utilization of four basic concepts, those being cardiovascular training, strength training, flexibility training, and the utilization of medical exercise protocols. Now these protocols are vitally important. The protocols allow us as medical exercise professionals to establish standards and guidelines for the progression of clients with medical conditions. It also sets up criteria, assessment guidelines, and most importantly, the ability to measure the client's uh, progress through functional outcome measures. Now, the idea of medical exercise training provides no aspect of medical diagnostics nor medical treatment. It's all good old exercise or the new modality medical exercise training. So with that, let's talk about why we're seeing this increase in the need for medical exercise training. One of the biggest reasons is because of what we call wasted billions. You're going to see here we have five conditions that are easily managed with exercise. Diabetes, hypertension, low back pain, osteoarthritis, and also procedures, total joint replacements. Now we've got some statistics here that are rather alarming, but also tell us there's a greater need for medical exercise training out there. First we see diabetes. It affects some 2.8 million Americans at a cost annually of $245 billion. This condition can be effectively managed with exercise, diet, and also medication. Hypertension. It affects some 67 million Americans at a cost of $93.5 billion and again is positively impacted by exercise. Low back pain. We estimate the cost of that $100 billion a year to the North American economy. Again, can be managed effectively with exercise and other medical treatments. Osteoarthritis, look at the numbers here. 409,000 hospitalizations at an annual cost of $89 billion. And lastly, the total joint replacements, the total hip and knees that are associated with osteoarthritis, look at the numbers here. 450,000, 720,000 done respectively. You can see that our healthcare systems here in North America are buckling under the cost of the services, but also buckling under the cost of the number of individuals with chronic disease. Medical exercise training can reduce, not eliminate, but reduce some of these costs. And again, medical exercise training doesn't provide any aspect of medical treatment. It's the utilization of exercise to manage medical conditions. So a little bit more. There's now a mandate for change. We're seeing changes in the health uh, care industry, we're seeing changes in the insurance industry, and they're both saying exercise needs to be included in the medical management of these conditions. We also though are seeing the actual integration of exercise protocols, exercise guidelines is very limited. And this is where medical exercise training comes in. It's a new concept that delivers protocol-based exercise programming for clients with medical conditions. So if you're a personal trainer, a medical exercise professional, massage therapist, maybe you're a medical professional, physical therapist, chiropractor, nurse, or a physician, and you're interested in this idea of how medical-based exercise can help with managing medical conditions, especially chronic conditions, then you may want to get our white paper. Again, it's titled 
medical exercise training, the new modality. It's just an informational paper, and you can obtain the paper and download it at met-whitepaper.com. Again, www.met-whitepaper.com. What I hope they'll do is download it, and if you would, email me with your thoughts on the paper. Email me at drmike at postrehab.com or go to our Facebook page, postrehabology.com. Tell us what you think about it, or you can come to our website, postrehab.com, and get more information on all of our programs. So thank you again for listening in. I hope you'll take advantage and take a look at our white paper and tell us what you think. But most importantly, best wishes in building your medical exercise practice. And please remember, exercise is the key to long-term management of most medical conditions. We've got to start seeing more integration of exercise into the medical management process of a lot of these chronic diseases. So thanks again. Best wishes to you. And I look forward to seeing you one day at one of our workshops. Bye-bye.